Da, 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 da. I, uh, why why is this woman dabbling into um Yol Edoche's case as if Yol is um is a minor or cannot even handle himself? I don't really understand. I mean, if you want to put your mouth in the situations like that, like just the the least anybody could expect from you is to be fair. I mean, you have your allegiance, obviously, but at least she said the truth. Yol is not a kid. So he can he can he can handle himself. He, he should be able to where, where wherever there's any blame on on his side, then let's speak the truth to him. Maybe perhaps we'll be helping him one one form or the other. Anyway, that's um, my name is um, Brosby, and um, welcome to my channel. And um, if you are coming in here for the very first time, I encourage you to please um, subscribe. Uh, if you're on um, YouTube and if you're on Facebook, I also do the same and do comment. I honestly want to hear from you and um, the, hit the notification bell in the um, YouTube section. Um, the purpose of that is just for you to get notified every time I'm online. There's always something breaking every time. These guys are not even, even going to allow us to rest. Right. Remember yesterday, Yole Doshi dropped a, um, a message online asking for a the Arita, uh sorry the um may should stop using his name and she stop using his name at least he, she is filed for divorce and all of that and she's just um stop using his, his name which is um yol edoshe right I, I honestly don't even know why she she continued to use the name you file for divorce just go back to your maiden name <laughs> unless if, if there's something else there anyway so that's one point then secondly he said um you talk about bride price and everything now, there's a little bit, um, there's a slight tweak into the old story. Somebody has come out to practically refute uh, what um, y'all said. And this person is actress Richard Edoche. So Richard Edoche has completely, I mean, came out to, today um, telling, telling us his version of the truth re regarding the, the bride price um, that um, y'all mentioned in, in in um in his earlier text i think he sent the text house yesterday so as the public watches the marital discourse between yol edoshi and his estranged wife may a new voice entered in the the narrative actress richard Edo rita edoshi has refuted yol edoshi's assertion that his arranged his estranged wife sorry may is unwilling to return the bride price he paid during their marriage Rita married to Peter Edoche, that's Peter and uh, that's Yol Edoche's dad. Um, Rita married to Pete uh, Edoche's brother, took to her Instagram page to claim that May had indeed requested Yol to retrieve the bride price. However, Yol stated holding on to the belief that she might, um, May might eventually agree to his polygamous intention. This is Rita saying all of this. I honestly don't know when these guys are just going to put a lid on this thing and stop messing themselves up. I mean, keep this thing within, within your family and don't stop, stop disgracing yourself and bringing all your matter to, into the public place like this. This is disgraceful. Now, he con she continues, Rita alleges that y'all initiated the, the bride price discussion late last year, but legal proceedings had already com commenced preventing any resolution outside courts and jurisdiction jur jurisdiction um <laughs> and early bit my talk <laughs> early bit my talk there lord of oh, oh, my goodness so rita contends that your second wife judy is responsible for managing and publishing his social media posts that is exactly what i'm saying here fine you've got problem with with the other lady now you are in support of me, and obviously it related to you. So I mean, you're not saying, oh, oh, oh the other lady is the one responsible for posting all of that and things like that. Y'all has got nothing to say. I've got a say in this in this situation. I don't really understand what that what that is all about. What do you mean y'all doesn't got any any say in the in the situation? What was that supposed to mean? Is is he a kid? So even if, if even if the wife takes over his, his social media and she was pelting stuff, rub some come on ru serious rubbish out of out of I mean from from his page, I mean wouldn't he be able to say anything or probably even stop her? 
You know, I don't I don't really understand what Rita is is on about there. And this is exactly the text she she put out yesterday. She goes, and this is gonna be in pigeon. She goes, Bia, ah, sorry, Bia drama devil sh <laughs> sht. You know what I mean? Um, shut the heck up. I said, shut up and zip up your lying mouth. That's Rita pelting um, your Ledoche's wife right now. And she goes, drama devil, you don't even know the tradition. Because if you do, you would have risen appropriately before writing those jargons. Now she's claiming it was uh, your wife, her second wife now, that was the one, that was the one responsible for all those uh, messages coming out of um, your Instagram page, which... I honestly don't know what that what she's talking about there. She goes, a woman has no right to return the bride price of a man. Rather, it is the man who moves to the um, woman's hometown with his king's men to ask for the return of the bride price. Same way he went to pay uh, to pay for it initially. Yeah, I mean, I mentioned that yesterday. I mean, I, mean, I honestly don't even know what that is all about, bride price and return of bride price in Yoruba land. I don't even think, I don't know if we do stuff like that. However, obviously this is this is what they do in the in the, uh, the Igbos. That's what they do. And but now she's putting it straight now. No, it is the right of the man to go to the lady's house with uh, with with his kinsmen and to request for 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 the bride price so it's it's not down to the lady's family to bring the bride price back to i mean to your so it's actually it's your because it was your that went there in the first place and um and she so it's equally his duty to go back there again and request for for the bride price and she continues she goes um well i'm not surprised at all that you do not know the tradition after all you are picked up by obo obo manu onicha <laughs> i don't know what that means who are hired to join in paying your bride price wow that's that's something right there i don't know what that means and she now she now continues how how you won't take sabi that's pigeon. Now talking about the return of bride price, no one is ready to, no one is ready for that at, at, at the moment. Much as I know, you are the one pushing him just to ensure you take over completely. You are the one pushing, I mean, that's exactly what I said at the beginning. Treating y'all as if he's a, he's a minor. He doesn't even know what he's doing. He cannot even take full control of his wife, um, let alone his... I mean, he cannot take full control of his uh, life, let alone his, his his wife. I don't really understand that. So, I mean, let's... If we are to put blame anywhere at all, I'm going to put it at the feet of you. He's the man in this equation. He's the husband. And um, no one is going to be responsible for dishing out all those rubbish he keep he keep he keep disturbing us with. Do you understand? So I'm not even going to sit down here and blame the other woman for that. Left to me, you needs to get his acts together and he needs to put, get I mean put a stop to all of these things and be, be be the big guy in the room and behave maturely. That's all I'm going to say. She continues. The reason is this: Queen May has been asking for a divorce. She urged your uh, son to come retrieve the bride price, but he kept holding back, thinking Queen May would later give in to his polygamous intention. Well, not until um, not until late last year when the matter was taken to court. Only then did he start demanding the bride price, which you have been pushing him to do. That's, <laughs> anyway. The unfortunate thing is that this matter is now in full um um, um in, in, in full full fledged in, in the court and um no there's there's absolutely nothing they can do about that. The moment the case is in court, then there's absolutely nothing they can do about that. They just need to see it through. Um is it that is exactly what Rita came out with yesterday. And I'm go, I'm gonna look at read out some comments here. I'm gonna go into the comment section and Start reading out certain things people are saying. A lot of people are obviously angry um, with Yo and telling him to actually get his acts together and behave himself. 
you know men don't behave like this if you if you if you are falling out with your wife if you are no longer together just move on with your life and do the right thing and that's on the on the side of um you then on on the side of um uh me i mean you you said the ball rolling regarding the, the divorce thing then i on, honestly don't know why you are still holding on to um his, his name so he now goes, you know, he, he, he still go about uh, with um, May Yol Edoshi. I mean, who does that? Yet you are divorced. I don't even care if you are if you are an actress or that's your kind of a uh, name that people know you by. I mean, the moment you 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 say you don't want to have anything, absolutely anything to do with the guy. Besides, it was like a messy day, divorced anyway. So why are you still holding on to his name? So that is your own problem right there. Now, let me read out one of the comments. I had to take out my glasses because I can't read, I can't read clearly with my glasses on. One of the comments is, anybody that, that have a sister-in-law like Rita Idoshi is very safe. They just keep dragging, um, they, they just keep dragging that juju and you your mumu till he comes back to his senses. Foolish Olodo, you're like, <laughs> And uh, that that is not nice at all. Foolish Olodo, um, you y'all edoshe and useless homebreaker Juju Austin. Ah, Jesus, homebreaker. Okay. Then the second one goes. She's not. Um, she's not dragging you. She's fighting Judy. That's very stupid of her. If Rita is bold, let her go and insult the man that married Judy. And I hope the court makes. This bunch of idiots stop talking, sick of their entire dumb family drama. Uh, yeah, I, I'm partly with that lady right there. But since the case is in the court, I guess we're not we are not even be able, we we're not going to say much about it. But basically, what people are in essence saying is. Put a lead on this thing. Keep this matter within your family. There must be somebody big enough in that family that will be able to hold this guy down, probably even take his phone off him and telling him to stop messing around and disgracing his, him, him, himself and tarnishing the, 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 the name of, of, of the family. Um, there is another thought. Um, um, have I gone through this? So Rita, Rita keep dragging them like a I better pass my neighbor. <laughs> like I better pass my neighbor generator. Juju will never have um, peace of mind since she decided to scatter another man's home. Okay, Juju will never have a peace of mind. I don't. I guess we can, we can all guess who this person is referring to. There. Now the fourth comment goes, "Mama the mama, I always believe you." Um, been waiting for your reaction to this to this nonsense Judy or Obakasi keeps putting up on your sword. I okay, she she's putting stuff on your your wall and your is not gonna do anything about it. She's, she's, he's not gonna stop her, right? Is that what you are saying now? I honestly don't know what you're talking about right there. So anyway, this is um um what people are saying out, out here she 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 thinks um she's smart dumb skull that that is hell bent on breaking y'all down she has completely destroyed the young man's image both online and off nobody is ready to sign y'all as an ambassador because his image is completely destroyed all y'all does these days is to say i had I, I, had i known if only he had known you see, that's exactly what I'm saying. So, what in essence, what this guy is saying is, so it, what you're telling me, y'all hasn't got any blame here. He's innocent. Is that what you're saying? He's got no blame. So you can all blame the second wife. It's the second wife that snatched him off the of the first wife. It's the same second wife that keep pelting the first wife with all sort of allegation and accusation and all of that. Really? So, if if the second wife is doing all of this thing via your account so what 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 rest, i mean blame are you going to put on on your so y'all is just innocent uh, uh <laughs> guy that cannot even defend or put his act together so it's like a, a minor that needs to be um taken care of is that is that what you're saying 
I honestly don't, don't believe that. I am, and I, at the same time, I'm not saying it was y'all or it was the second wife that keeps petting all this or be putting all this thing out there. But whoever is responsible, I mean, whoever is the owner of that account is to me is responsible for whatever comes out of it. So you can take that to the bank. I, I don't. I, I'm not going to talk more on that. So another one says, wait, the price, the bride price. This custom and tradition of returning bride price need to end and end now. May was married to y'all for donkey years, bore him children who belong to both y'all and May and their families. What bride price again should he return? <laughs> what? <laughs> so when you buy a car or, or mechanized uh, merchandise, sorry, and use it for a while, does the seller give you a full refund? when you return it after several years or over 90 days, depending on which part of the world um, you are reading this from. Why do we continue to follow old custom to return bride price um, when the, the bride price, for, uh, when, when the bride fulfilled her wifely duties? So this, this is what this guy is saying here. And in that same faith, let, the, let, let that custom of selling our daughters in the name of bride price stop. I guess this guy is an evil dude. And the groom can give gifts to the bride parents. That bride price thing is so archaic and probably started by, I mean, started from poverty mentality. When Isaac married Rebecca, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Isaac and Rebecca in the Bible, I guess this is what, where he's going now. He gave gifts, he served her um, father. Hey, listen, I've had enough of this. Talking about the bride price, I'm not even going to go deep into that. The only thing I'm going to say about that is that is just an archaic idea. Um, but hey, that's a topic for uh, another day. But what we are on, on, uh, on about today is y'all may... Um, Rita, um, I've forgotten the wife's name now. Uh, forgive me, somebody can remind me. They all need to uh, put, get their acts together and stop disturbing the society with this mess that is that is ongoing. I mean, if you put your stuff out there, yeah, we're bound to talk about it, but I mean, I would rather you keep this thing within your family and, um, yeah. Sort it out and 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 leave, let let us be. Do you understand? Because don't turn your house into. I mean, if you choose to turn your house or family into house of fracas and things like that, that is your own business, right there. Do you understand? I mean, by the time you start bringing all, all this stuff out there, it doesn't even look good. It doesn't speak well. And the only group of people, the only set of people, I really feel for in this situation is uh, are the children, are the, are the kids, the children in, 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 the mid, in the midst of all of this. Do you understand? I mean, put yourself in their shoes. Where do they even belong? From what I've read online, some the kids don't even want to see their dad. Or, I mean, they, that's, I don't know how far that is true, but that's, that is what I, I read somewhere online. You understand? So, obviously, the kids are in a, in a very bad state. They lost one of them. Um, again, I think it was last year. So probably they've not even recovered from that loss nowadays. Nowadays. So enough is enough. Let up us go somewhere and sit down and somebody just call them to order and let them behave themselves. We've had enough of all of this. You understand? We don't even want to know who's sending stuff. Whoever is whoever is the owner of that account, to me, is responsible for whatever comes out of it. You understand? So to me, the owner is responsible. I don't want to hear stuff like, oh, somebody took over his account, he was sending stuff out and all of that and blah, 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 blah. That is BS right there. So enough is enough. The set of people we all need to pay particular attention to, to me, I mean, in my own humble opinion, are the kids. Are the kids. Sort yourself out. Let the kids live their, live their life. Don't even involve them in this in this mess. You understand? They are just innocent, innocent souls that, you know, I'm sure they don't even ask for this. They didn't ask for this. So why do you just come out every... <laughs> I don't understand. 
o gba mi leti you come o fun mi ni noku you come every bit of it you can feed you are every details that is happening in your relationship you guys know each other fully well whatever you are putting out there with i mean a lot of us don't even have a clue or have more details about it so people will just jump on your case and be making some ridiculous con conclusion they hardly know you they don't even know what goes on what the 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 the, the, the genesis of this is so enough of this mess do you understand so that's all i have for you guys today if you have anything contrary to what i said please put it in the comment section and um, I would honestly love to hear from you, especially the from the angle of this divorce thing. I mean, the, the bride price and all of that, and who actually is responsible from all from all indication from what I've read online and from what I can see, um, I'm from um, from what Rita Edoche put out there. I mean, she is obviously putting it at the feet of um, Yol Edoche's uh, second wife, um, which to me I find a bit. Um, ridiculous. So that's just it. Let's put this put this into rest. Well, if you decide to come out and give us another uh, part two or part three or part four or whatever it is, we will come out and I mean we're here. We will hear our own opinion about it. Nobody is going to stop us from. I mean, you put yourself out there. There, people are bound to talk about it. It's as simple as that. People are bound to talk about. It. I would rather you keep your business to yourself and let us be. You understand? So that's that's just um. What I have for you today, and um, like I said, if you have any comment, if you have any addition, if you want to um, to refute anything that um, I stay um, I put out here today, please feel free, put it in the comment section. Let's let's hear from you. So in the meantime, I will bid you um, bye bye today, and um, see you next time, um, probably with another <laughs> episode of Yellow Dechi and and his wife. So until then, peace. And if you have not, if you are yet to subscribe to, to my channel, please do do it right now. Uh, it really means a lot to me, both on um, Facebook and on um, um, YouTube. Do subscribe, um, press the notification bell, and the essence of that is you would be the first to know anytime I'm online. So we bring it to you, whatever any whatever uh, whatever thing that news that is heating up out there trust us to bring it to you but you have to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified bye bye and peace for now cheers